Hey, welcome back students. Uh, in this video, we're going to take the parts that we modeled up for some previous assignments. We're gonna take that drawing file that we put inside our inventor template, uh, and we're gonna start adding some, some parts and turning them into multi-view drawings in inventor. So essentially, uh, the assignment you did at home by hand last week, we're gonna reproduce this week, uh, but use the computer to do it. So. Uh, I've got one of my other parts that I had previously modeled up open here on my screen. I'm just going to come up top, um, click the home button. This is probably the screen you land on when you go to inventor. Okay. Now I could open up a drawing file by clicking uh, on new drawing here, but that's not necessarily going to open up that one with the Spartan head on it. Okay. And if you're going, what is he talking about? Spartan head drawing file. Uh, make sure you've got the previous video in this series done before you start this one up. Okay, assuming you've done that, we're going to go up to File. Uh, I'm going to click on New, and by clicking on New, that'll bring me into these templates. Uh, here you can see that SHS template that we made in the previous video. Uh, so I'm going to click on the SHS template, and then I want to pick the drawing file with the SHS title block. So we'll click on that and say Create, right, and we are in. Now the drawing. A uh, file that we make has got a title block at the bottom. That's where we give some information about the author uh, of that drawing file. So we're going to go ahead and answer these questions here. You're an IED. Okay. Uh, your name is right, obviously going to be different than my name. Typically, engineers will type uh, their first initial and then their last name. Okay. Oftentimes, this title block would all be done uh, in capital letters. So. Uh, here where it says name of drawing, we're going to do the L-shaped drawing together. So go ahead and fill that out as L-shaped objects. For all the other drawings you put in here, you're going to do six besides that L-shaped object. We'll just name them based off of the number they were on that sheet. Uh, which block, you could think of that as which period you're in. So tell me, are you in first period, second, sixth period? And then all of our drawings, we're going to do at a scale of one to one uh, for this particular assignment. So go ahead, you can fill in that drawing scale right now. Uh, and then we're going to click OK. Uh, it gives us a little style conflict here. I think that's because we've done um, this particular template was created in a different year's version. So there's some crossover stuff. So we're just going to be agreeable when these messages pop up and say OK. And here is our drawing file right? and i know it's the the correct one because i can see it populated down here with my information uh, it's also got the spartan head on it and again if this isn't what your screen looks like uh, think like an engineer analyze why that might be fix the issue right? if you can't identify the problem get in contact with me um, so i can help you out with that right. now i'm going to put my object in here so i'm going to come over and i'll click the base button uh, and this is going to go back to one of my part files now. We want to do the L-shaped file. It's picking this object number two because that was the file I had open. Um, so I'm going to come in this uh, dialog box here and I'll click on the file folder with the, uh, the search thing on it. Uh, now this is where file management is super important. You should have been saving all of your stuff to your Google Drive uh, in that folder called IED. And here I've got my additive, outline, and subtractive. All three of these objects are shaped the same, so let's go ahead and we'll just pick the additive one. Uh, I'm going to say open. Now, I want you to look at your drawing sheet um, that you created last week. I'm going to turn my front-facing camera on so you can see my drawing sheet. All right, there's my drawing sheet. And I think you probably remember me doing something similar last week, trying to peek around the sheet of paper. It, we want to make sure the front, the top, and the right side view that we picked today uh, match up with the front, the top, and the right side view that we assigned to this thing last week based off of our isometric drawing. Right. So for this particular one, it just happened to work out where the front view is the front view I want. Uh, if that's not the case, you can see I've got this view cube over here. Uh, I can click on this view cube and I can spin my object around to different views. So depending on which plane you picked to draw your first sketch on, 
you know, you might end up tipping this thing. You might end up rotating it this way. Uh, you're going to have to click these buttons until right, that object looks like the front view on your sheet of paper. Uh, once you've got that done, then you're going to drag this object down to the lower left-hand corner. And right? now we need to make our top view uh, in our right hand view. So to do that, I'm going to come up here to this little arrow at the top of my drawing. I'll click it and just that easy, uh, we've created the top view of this object. Okay. Now I'm going to come over here to the right side. Uh, I've got this little red arrow. I'm going to click that and that will project my right side view over. The other thing I'd like you to do for this drawing is go add an isometric view. So I'm going to come to the upper corner here. You can see I've got that red triangle. I'll click that and it'll add a 3D isometric view for me to this drawing sheet, just that easy. Um, now, I didn't close this dialog box yet. I'm gonna come back and I just wanna double check my scale is one to one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. And it'll make my drawing look like this. Now, this would be a good spot for us to save it because we're gonna keep adding to this. So I'm gonna go click the save button. Yeah, I wanna save this drawing file in my IED folder on my G drive. Okay. Uh, it defaults to calling it by the name of that first file. We're gonna add a few more to this. So we're gonna call this our isometric shapes. And then we'll go ahead and click save. So now what I want to do is I want to take the actual isometric, not my multi-view drawing. I want to make this isometric stand out. Uh, to do that, I'm going to take it shaded in. So you can see as I hover my cursor next to the drawing, it puts that little red polka dot border on it. I'm going to double click, and it'll open up that same dialog box we saw before. Uh, but this time, it's just for the one that's highlighted. Then under the style part, I'm going to come to this third style tile, the one that says shaded, I'll click on it, right? and then I'll click OK, and it'll shade that isometric in for me. And so now my isometric view uh, stands out from my multi-view orthographic drawing here. I can tell this one's different uh, because of its perspective um, and because it's shaded in. So again, I'm going to go ahead and click Save on here. Right? Now your goal for this week is to do this seven, I'm sorry, six more times. So you've got the L shape. Uh, plus those six shapes that you've been drawing for this series uh, on the Spartan drawing sheet. Yeah. So think of this like doing uh, an English report or maybe a report for a social studies class. You're not going to open up a new file every time you add a new page to that report. Um, you're just going to keep adding pages to the one file. So what I want to do is come up here on my toolbar now and I'm going to click new sheet. And this is going to let me add an additional drawing sheet to this file. Every time you add a sheet, it asks you yeah, these same questions up top. So we'll go ahead and fill them in again. Now, here for name of my drawing, I know that I've got object number two uh, ready to go. So I'm going to call this drawing number object number two. Okay, maybe you didn't do object number two. Maybe you did three or four for the one of your choice from that top row. Right. Go ahead and fill it in with the drawing that you're putting in. Right. Uh, I, again, am going to fill in just a generic class number. You'll have a real class number. Uh, and we're going to do these to a scale of one to one. So as I click OK, now you can see I've got another sheet over here on my model bar. Uh, I'm going to go through that same process again. So I'm going to click Base. Now it picked part number two for me because I've got part number two open down here. Right. If you're not that lucky, you might have to go in uh, click the search button and look for the object you want to add to this one again. Oh, I didn't mean to close out of there. I was just trying to close out of the search. So I'm going to click base again. All right, here I got my front view. So I'm going to drag my front view down to the lower left-hand corner. I'll project my top. I'll project my right side. I'll project my isometric view. Um, they all look good as far as I can see right now. So I'm going to say, okay. And, uh, I can see it added those hidden lines to my top and to my right side view, uh, which matches what I've got on my drawing sheet in front of me. So my last step now would be to double click this one. I'm going to come back, click shaded view, I'll say, okay. All right, this all looks good. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to add a new sheet. 
Uh, and I'm going to keep repeating that process until I've got all of my additional six drawings uh, laid out in an orthographic multi-view plus that isometric. Uh, and over here, I should see sheets one through seven when I'm finished. And right, so bring these to class with you uh, on your next in-person day, and we will do some more work with these same shapes. Uh, and as always, if you got questions, get a hold of me right away, and I will be glad to help you out.